go to the night and catch Sparks animation. Play. So now when we hit, the sparks appear. They're actually kind of big, so let's go back to our sparks. We don't want them that big. I went a little crazy with the scaling on this. See what that looks like. That's a little better. Now, see, it's the collider is like right here. So when that this uh, sword or axe collider hits, it's hitting about right here. So that's why the sparks are appearing right there. So that's how you can use the trigger bends other collider closest point to bone. Now again, if you wanted something more precise, you'd probably want to change your collider in the animation to a non-trigger. You'd want to change your capsule on the target to a non-trigger. And you'd want to actually, instead of registering a, a trigger, you'd want to register a collision delegate. And then get the collision information. But again, that actually performs physics on the um, two objects, and that's probably not going to be what you want in a 2D animation. So, this is a nice close approximation of where the colliders are hitting if you need that. Okay, uh, for this tutorial, I believe that is all I'm going to do. Actually, there's one other thing we can do. Um, I told you that. You can see front and back on this. Um, I can just show you real quick. If you rotate along the y-axis, 180 degrees, you can see that. So your knight can face either direction. And all you have to do is just rotate it. Now you don't want anything like 45 because then you got squishing. So it's either going to be 0 or 180, most likely. I mean, you could, if you wanted special other effects, you could do that. but. Uh, in my animation here, I just chose to uh, backpedal the knight, reverse the walk animation when he goes back instead of uh, turning him around, but you could turn him around. So that just shows you that that will work. All right, well, this has been the Smooth Moves Tutorials. I hope this has been informative. Um, if I come up with some more tools and stuff for this uh, animator editor, then I will add more tutorials. Hope you enjoyed this.